Hola Slayers, Sophia here and today I'm going to show you how to get this amazing Frida Kahlo inspired hairstyle for Halloween. Welcome to Slay Masters, the best place for community, beauty, and self-expression. I'm really excited about this tutorial because Frida Kahlo is one of the biggest icons in history. Not only was she a phenomenal painter, but she was also known for her revolutionary ideas on feminism, equality, and also the unibrow, but we're not gonna talk about that today. Instead, we're gonna work on how to get this iconic signature look. Frida Kahlo was famous for her braids and her signature flowers, so I'm super excited to show you guys how to do this tutorial. It takes less than 10 minutes, basically, and it works for any type of hair type. As long as you have hair that's about shoulder length, you should be able to make this work. So I'm gonna show you what you need. Let's get started. A brush gel, a lot of bobby pins, two hair ties, two more hair ties. To be fair, you could do two or four of the regular thick ones. It just depends what you prefer. A comb, a bunch of roses, or you could do any flower you want. Two foot long ribbons in a bright color. Let's get started. My hair is already in a middle part, but if you don't have a middle part already, you can take your comb and just make a middle part all the way down the back of your head. Then you're gonna take your brush and brush out your hair because we are going to be braiding it, so we want it to be as untangled as possible. I'm gonna take one side of our hair and tie it into a tight ponytail right behind the ear. I'm gonna use my comb to smooth out any of the bits so it can be nice and smooth. And we have ponytail right behind the ear. And then we repeat on the other side. So let's take a look and make sure our ponytails are even. Looks about right. And then we're gonna take our ribbon and tie it around our ponytails because we are going to braid our ribbon into our ponytails. So we're gonna take our ribbon and tie it around our ponytail, making sure that the sides are even. This is a little bit uneven, there we go. And you're gonna do a double knot to keep it secured. Like so. Bow is secured, so we're gonna do our three sections to do our braid. Splitting it into three equal sections, like so. And then we're going to weave the ribbon through our hair as we braid all the way down. Just going over and under until we reach the bottom of our ponytail. And then we secure this with our elastic. I did a pretty good job of measuring out my ribbon, but I do have a little bit extra. So I wanna take that and just trim it so that it doesn't pop out. Gone. And then we're gonna repeat that same process on the opposite side. Okay, so our braids are done. Everything is nice and sleek. And now we're gonna take each braid up and over our head and we're going to pin it to the opposite side with our bobby pins. It's gonna take a few bobby pins, so be prepared to do a little bit of trial and error. I literally have a whole pack because I wasn't sure how many it would take. All okay, right, so hair is here, bobby pin is here. One down, who knows how many to go. So it might not actually be as many bobby pins as I thought, which is good. Put one at the other end of the braid. So I have four bobby pins. I'm gonna put one a little bit closer to where the ponytail holder is, just to give it a little bit extra security. And honestly, I think that should be good. The good thing is you won't see these bobby pins because I'm gonna flip and do this on the other side. Boom. And this one, you wanna kind of tuck it into the other braid, and then we're just gonna do as many bobby pins as we have to to secure it on this side. Trying to go under the other braid so you don't see the bobby pins. Okay, 
as a rule of thumb, anytime I'm ever bobby pin securing anything, I always give my hair a little, just to make sure that it's actually secured. This looks pretty good. We're on to our final step. Well, I last it, our next to last final step. And we're gonna put in our flowers. Frida Kahlo was known for lots of wild color flowers, lots of bright colors. So you don't necessarily have to go red. You could do a multitude of flower colors or if you find a pre-glued flower headband, that can work too. I found these at a craft store and I thought that they were perfect because I wanna match my flowers to my lipstick, hello. So let's get these weaved into our braids. There's a few different techniques you can do. What I did was when I bought them, I basically just left enough room in the stems so that I could tuck them into my braids like so. Ooh, we'll do another one here. I like like these two right here. I think I'm gonna do one more in the center, but you can do as many flowers as you want or as little flowers as you want. Going from under. I decided on three flowers and I love how this looks. I'm gonna put down a little bit of gel on my baby hairs to keep everything secure. I'm doing it with a toothbrush so I don't disturb anything, but I'm just gonna do like so. And then repeat on the other side to brush it down. And all that you're missing is her signature red lip. So this is the final look and I absolutely love how it came out. I love how the red matches the lipstick. It is so exciting to get to play homage to one of the most iconic women in history. Not only does it work for Frida Kahlo, but it's also a good hairstyle if you're doing like a Dia de los Muertos costume or a sugar school with the full school makeup. So if you like this video, make sure to join our community, subscribe to our newsletter and subscribe below for more videos. I will see you next week, Slayers. Now go out there and slay this Halloween.